Hello everyone, this is Paul here with Member Press, and today we're going to be doing a quick demonstration on how to use Member Press to protect part of a page or part of a post. Um, so I've set up a test post here, I've called it uh, Bacon Ipsum. It's uh, just kind of a spoof on the Lorem Ipsum text. But I want to protect everything from this down. Sorry, this, this part in blue I would like to be protected from unauthorized um, visitors. So MemberPress has a few ways to make that possible, and we're going to walk through um, those ways right now. So the first thing we need to do is go to MemberPress. I've installed the plugin, I've saved the options, and uh, that's all I've done to this point. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new membership. And we'll call it our free membership. And I'm just going to have it free forever. I'm not going to charge anything for this. Go ahead and publish it. And the next thing we need to do, so I'll show you here, I have posts. And uh, this one that I want to protect is called Bacon Ipsum. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Member Press Rules. I'm going to say Add New. We're going to protect a, we're going to say partial. So this is the first way we're going to do it. And anyone who's purchased a free membership or subscribed to the free membership uh, will have access. So I'm going to save this rule. And because it's a partial, we can use these partial content codes here to wrap around the content we want to hide. So I'm going to copy this short code. Let's see, I'm actually just going to copy the first part of it. And I'm going to edit my post. And I'm going to paste my short code starting here. And the ending of it is going to be there. So now anything between this Mepper Show short code will be protected from unauthorized visitors. So I'm going to go ahead and update this. And I'm going to view this in an incognito window. And now we can see only the first two um, paragraphs here are shown. Now, we might want our visitors to see a message here saying, hey, to read the rest of this post, subscribe. So if you want to do that, the shortcode method probably isn't the best. It will work. You can do it with the shortcode. I think you say... Um, Unauth equals both. Let me update that and we'll give it another try. Okay, yeah, so now we have the unauthorized view this page message and a login form. And we can update this message, we can change it here in the um, member press options. Right at the very bottom here, we'll click this blue link and you can update that message. Now, uh, you can also, let's say you want, let's say you had three different memberships and they were protecting different kinds of content and you wanted each kind of content to show a different unauthorized message. So this is the global message that's shown to everyone, um, but let's say you wanted to override that message on your rule. So you could actually come in here and set a custom unauthorized message just for this rule. So if uh, a user gets triggered by this rule, the custom unauthorized message will show here rather than that global one from the options. So that wraps up the shortcode method. Um, I don't typically like to recommend the shortcode method just because it's a lot of copy paste and um, I think there's cleaner, quicker ways to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this short code. And instead, so I'm going to go ahead and update the post. So now that I've removed the short code, if I view this as a logged out user, we can see the whole post now. So we still want to make sure this is protected. So the next method we're going to cover is, um, I'm going to go ahead and say a single post. Type in bacon here and have it pull that up. 
So the next method we want to cover here is excerpts. So we're going to say um, the more tag. So everything above the more tag is visible to everyone. Everything below the more tag will be hidden from unauthorized visitors. So we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to edit our post here. I'm going to create a new line and I'm going to say insert the more tag. So this is a tag WordPress supports. Um, if you look at the text, let me move this thing out of the way here. If you look at the text mode here, it just inserts a little HTML comment called more. And so um, what this does is usually what it does if you're not using a membership plugin like MemberPress uh, is on your blog pages. Um, well, let me save it and let's see if we can show an example of what it does here. Okay, so it shows this little continue reading link. So instead of showing the entire post, now it just shows continue reading after uh, where that more tag is. So this, this shows up when you're viewing the blog or like a category page or a tag page or some kind of archive page. Um, you'll get this wherever the more tag is. Um, okay, so back to member press. We're going to go ahead and insert this more tag. And now everything below this, excuse me, everything below this more tag, we want to be protected just like before. So now we've got our rule protecting the post. We're going to come down here to the excerpt, say more tag, save rule. And now we're going to open this post as a uh, logged out visitor here. So we'll be unauthorized. And now you can see not only is it protected, but it is showing our unauthorized message as well with a login form below. And if the user logs in, they will be kept right on this page. So um, that's one of the easier ways to do it. Well, what if you had a um, hundred posts that you wanted to do this with and you didn't want to um, have to create a rule for every single post? What you do in that case is um, go to your posts and let's say you wanted to protect everything that had a certain tag. So you could come to your posts, you could say, you know, show me 200 posts per page. Let me apply that really quick. And of course, I've only got two posts, but if you had pages and pages of posts, you could tell it to, you know, show you 200 per page. You scroll through the page, you check a box next to the one that you want to protect. And then you come up here to the bulk actions and you say edit, apply. And what you would do is add a tag. So I could say members only. I'm going to update. And now this post that I selected has a tag called members only. So then I could come to my rule and I could say instead of protecting a single post, protect all posts that have a tag. So I'm going to say post tagged. And I'm going to start typing members. There it is. And I'm going to save this rule. And now if I refresh this page, this will still show as being protected. And if I add a new post and I also give it that same tag, go ahead and add that, publish. Now if I go to the post list, it's going to be automatically protected because I've given it that members only tag. So that's a great way to protect uh, multiple posts using a single rule in MemberPress. Now, of course, we do need to add our more tag to this to ensure that the content below it is protected. And if we open that in an incognito window, you'll see we only see that first line and then the unauthorized um, message and the login form. Okay, so there's two ways we can do it. Let's look at one more way we can do it here. So I'm going to go to back to my bacon ipsum post. I'm going to delete the more tag here. Go ahead and update it. And this time I'm going to say the excerpt 
show the post excerpt to unauthorized visitors. So I'm going to save that and what we need to do is come up here, click screen options and make sure excerpts enabled. And I'm going to copy these first two paragraphs and I'm going to paste them into this excerpt box. And now any unauthorized users will see whatever is here in my excerpt box. And just to prove that this is what shows, I'm going to type this is an excerpt at the top of this. So we'll go ahead and update that. And let's see, I can't remember if I saved the rule or not. I'm going to update it one more time just to make sure. And now if we view this post in an incognito window, you can see it did pull in that excerpt, followed up by the unauthorized message. So there's three ways we can protect partial content on a page. And the last way, which may not be ideal for um, some sites, others might really enjoy it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to come here to our rule, and instead of showing an excerpt, we're going to say custom. Show the first 1,000 characters of a post. So I'm going to save that. And we'll go and refresh this in an incognito window. And now you can see we got the first 1,000 characters, followed by the triple dots, and then our unauthorized message, and a login form. So you can see MemberPress does have quite a few options to allow you to protect partial content on a page. My personal favorite way is using the more tag. Um, that may not be ideal for you. Some people might like this custom method that shows the first X number of characters. Um, and others may want to show an excerpt. So um, which, whichever method you prefer, uh, MemberPress supports them all. And hopefully this video was helpful for you in um, learning how to do that.